We've explored pages so far, which are route-specific UI components. Now let's dive into layouts. A layout is a UI that is shared between multiple pages in your application. Think of it like having a consistent structure, such as a header and footer, that appears on every page. Next.js makes this super easy to implement. Creating a layout is straightforward. You just need to default export a React component from a layout.js or layout.tsx file. That component takes a children prop, which Next.js will populate with your page content. Let's look at this in action. I should mention that we don't need to create a layout from scratch because Next.js provides one by default. In your app folder, you will find layout.tsx. Like page.tsx, this follows Next.js's special file naming conventions. This layout.tsx file in the app folder is called the root layout, and it is not optional. Every Next.js app must have one. In fact, Next.js is so insistent about this that if you delete it, it will automatically regenerate the file. Let me show you. Delete, move to trash, refresh localhost 3000 in the browser, and look at that. Next.js has already recreated it. Let's understand the code here. We'll talk about the metadata object later, but for now, let's focus on the React component. Every layout component needs a children prop. This is where your page content will go. In our case, the page.tsx in the app folder becomes the children when layout.tsx renders. If you inspect the elements in Chrome DevTools, you will see an HTML tag with language is equal to English, matching our layout, and a body tag containing an h1 tag welcome home. That is coming from our page.tsx component through the children prop. Right now, our layout isn't doing much. Let's make it more useful by adding a header and a footer. I will paste the code since this is basic HTML and CSS. So we have the header tag with style, background color light blue, padding one rem, with a paragraph tag that says header. We then have the footer element with style, background color, coast white, padding one rem, with a paragraph that says footer. Sandwiched in between header and footer is our children props. Really simple HTML and CSS. Although we could make separate components for the header and footer, we are keeping it simple with placeholder text and basic styling for now. Take a look at the browser and you will see the header and footer. The cool part is that these stay in place no matter which route you visit. Try going to slash about or slash products. The header and footer remain constant. That is the power of the root layout.tsx file. It creates a consistent structure across your entire application. You can add whatever markup, styles, or behavior you want to. Just remember to include the children prop so your pages can render their unique content. Here is a visualization of how layouts work in the app router. When you visit localhost 3000, the root layout component in layout.tsx in the app folder gets rendered. This contains a header at the top, a footer at the bottom, and the children prop in between. The children prop gets replaced by the component defined in page.tsx within the app folder. When you visit localhost 3000 slash bout, the component defined in page.tsx within the about folder replaces the children content in the layout file. And when you visit localhost 3000 slash profile, the component defined in page.tsx within the profile folder replaces the children prop in the layout file. I hope this helps you understand layouts better. Now here is a quick challenge before we proceed. Try creating your own header and footer components and add them to the root layout. Drop a comment to let me know how it goes. Up next, we will explore nested layouts. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe, it helps a lot.